Journey Shark, do 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 Journey Shark, do 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 Journey Shark. Shake a booty. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake a booty. Shake a booty. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake a booty. Shake a booty. Shake your booty. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today is day six of my keto restart. I am, um, my youngest daughter is here with my two grandchildren, Caden and Johnny. You saw pictures of them um, in yesterday's video. Caden at his basketball game. And I'm fixing him some sausage this morning. That's what he wanted. And I'm getting ready to take my blood sugar and show y'all my blood sugar. Let's see what it is this morning. And believe it or not, after eating yesterday at Golden Corral, my stomach is really not messed up. Um, it's really, really strange. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let me take my blood sugar and get this down. I've got to get Caden something to eat and watch Journey. I want to show y'all a video if I can get a little video of Journey. If I can get Kayla to send it to me and I can get it on my computer. Um, Alright, so here's my little thing. Let me... I don't know which finger to use this one. I'll try my little one, my pinky. Well, I just can't get any blood to come out. No, that's not enough. None of my fingers are... <laughs> Ow! Gosh, that hurts so bad and not... One, mm. I get so upset at this thing. And I have to use the same finger over and over again and it gets so sore. And even this one this morning, no blood is coming out. I don't know if y'all can see, but that's three fingers I have stuck and no blood has come out yet. All right, I'm gonna try this one. My ring finger on my right hand. See if I can get any to come out on it. Yes, finally. All right, and let me see what my blood sugar is. One ninety-five. All right, I did drink. Um, I've had between it's. One, almost one o'clock and between three o'clock this morning and and that right now I've had three cups of coffee with my heavy whipping cream and my Tarani vanilla syrup and a drop of and one squirt of stevia. So I guess that's why it's higher today. But anyway, that's what it is. It's, you know is what it is. I'm doing everything I can to get it down. The last time it took a good week to get it down and I mean I'm eating even less this time but they the doctor told me as you get older or whatever you just don't um you don't your body doesn't work to with that medicine that good. So anyway I'm gonna fix Caden his um breakfast and I will well now it's brunch but I'll bring you back good morning y'all this is Debbie with the food prepping channel I'm back <laughs> but I did not do <clears throat> today is day seven on my um, keto restart way of life and yesterday was a bad day. 
<laughs> so I didn't finish the video. I um, ate two pieces of sausage that I fixed, a fixed sausage for Caden, and I ate two pieces of that, and then um, they left to later on that afternoon, and I just, I, when they leave, I always get so depressed, and all because I know it's going to be, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> A week or two before I see them, I'll see them. I'll see them this Saturday at Caden's basketball game. But I just miss them so bad when they left. I mean, when they leave. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cry. Oh, I just get it. Just is so, it's so hard being here you know I'm not alone there's the girl upstairs and she always watches out for me and listens for me and stuff like that and oh uh, and but as far as alone yes I'm alone I have no one to talk to and I don't know it's it's just hard um but anyway after they left Yesterday I had about six, probably not even, probably only about five, um, pork skins, Max barbecue pork skins. And then I had um, an Atkins bar. I wanted something sweet and I didn't feel like making anything or whatever. So I just um, got these, let's make sure you can see them. This is the Atkins bar. Come on now. Chocolate caramel mousse bar. And these are really pretty good. They're kind of like a Milky Way. And so I like these. My favorite are the the ones that are like um, Reese Cups. But I just grabbed one of these yesterday and ate that. And it's two grams of carbs in it. And so then I didn't have anything else to eat until, golly, about 2.30 this morning. I know, y'all, I've got some weird habits or whatever, but about 2.30 this morning, I started feeling really hungry. And so I got up and fixed one of my, um, heated up one of my pork chops that I had fixed the the night before and I got five pieces of cheese out of the bag and four no three cucumber um slices or whatever and ate that and that that did help and so I went I went to sleep and woke up, I don't know, about 5.30, I guess, and um, ate, I mean, drank two cups of coffee. But anyway, that that is, day six ended with the pork chop and the cheese and the um, cucumber slices, and it really was good at 2.30 in the morning. All right, so now we're into day seven. I have, um, my stomach is a lot better, actually. I'm really glad of that. Maybe it, I've just been trying to eat before I take the medicine, and I'm actually on three different types of medicine. I forget the one. I'm on metformin. I'm on glipizide. I'm on glipizide and I'm on Victosa. So I'm getting ready now to, it is 20 after 10 in the morning. Um, nobody's here today. It's just me. Regina's off. And so I'm going to go on and take my blood sugar and see what that is. And hopefully, <laughs> probably it probably won't be good since I did eat at 2.30 this morning. But... We'll see what it is. 
I think y'all can see me. Yeah, let's put you down some. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so let's put this in here. Alright, can you see? Yeah. Alright, let me stick my finger again. We're going to try one on the... Ow. Come on, yes. We have blood. <laughs> All right, now let's see what it is this morning. 187. That's still higher than the, my doctor wants it. She wants it below 160. And so, uh, that's still high, uh, uh, higher than the 160, but it's coming down. I, I hope and pray that it's coming down. Like I said last time, it took a week a good week. I think what happened was that first day that I started back on keto, I just really went for a long time of not eating and my blood sugars kind of dropped and that's why that 158 um, came up. But, you know, it's only been uh, 2.30 to 10.30 is 8 hours since I ate so that's not a real fasting or whatever so but it is coming down and I think y'all will see that and I think that you will see that keto for diabetics is is the only way to go and uh, so I'm gonna get off of here I will bring you back after a while I'm going to drink my coffee right now and I will bring you back later on today Okay, y'all, um, it is five to five. This is my first meal of the day since two o'clock this morning. So it's been, well, I did eat two of these. As I was fixing these, I ate two pieces of my steak and two bites of this just as I was making it or whatever for the taste um, to make sure that it was okay. But I have got um, steak bites. And the recipe for this will be on the, will be the video after this one. And I have broccoli slaw. And <laughs> y'all are going to be, the recipe for this will be after the one for the steak bites. Um, but y'all are going to be so surprised um, about what's in this broccoli slaw. And I did make some mayonnaise and horseradish sauce to dip my steak in. And so, I just wanted to show you this. Like I said, the, the recipe for these and the broccoli slaw will be under this video. And in the steak bites, I uh, showed how to make this. So, um, anyway, I will bring you back after a while and finish out this for today.